Hey, this is Gary. Welcome to another Cubase Academy video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about folders and workflow. Uh, at first blush, folders uh, may not seem that useful, except for maybe organizing tracks, but they really are a workflow boost. So what is a folder? A folder is another kind of track that you can add into your window here. So I can just right click and say uh, add folder track and then I can uh, name it. Um, I'm going to call it vocals because that's when I'm going to put the vocals here. There you go. And now all I have to do is select my vocal tracks and move them into the folder. And you can see that as I click and drag, it turns into an arrow. If it turns into an arrow, it means it's going to go inside that folder. There it is. You see it's indented, so I can now close the folder, and I can open the folder up again. There's a fast way, of course, so I can click on the first vocal track and shift click, and then I can click and drag all of them into the folder. And because I like things to be consistent, my vocal tracks are yellow, so my folder track should also be yellow. Notice that when I close the folder track, it appears in the mix window, and when I open the folder track, it goes away. That is a preference, okay? Uh, so if I uh, right-click on the folder, um, there's a couple of things I can choose to do. Um, I can choose to show the data. Here's the, here's the trick here. Let's say always show data. Now my folder track is going to be representative, let me zoom my whole project here, of what's inside. So even if I close my folder track, I can still see a representation of where the audio files are in that folder track. And then if I open it, it stays there too. It's handy when it's closed, but I find it cluttery when it's open. So let's right click and look at the other option. Never show data. All right. So whether it's open or closed, a folder track will never show anything in the track window. And finally, hide data when expanded. This is the way I like to work because it allows me to see what's in the folder when it's closed and when it's open it gets out of the way it's gone from here it doesn't clutter up my interface and there I can see my tracks that's my preferred way of working so um, you can see that I have my drums in a folder my bass in a folder my guitars in a folder but I don't have my keyboards in a folder and I could do the same thing I did before which is create a folder and drag everything in or I can select all the tracks, click on the first one, shift click on the last one. I can right click and now I have a new option which is move selected tracks to new folder. Boom, I'll call it. <laughs> Keyboards here when I can rename it. Interestingly enough, it won't let me rename it. Don't know why. Sometimes my video recording software plays tricks uh, on my uh, on my Cubase implementation. Don't really understand it. Anyway, all these vocal tracks or uh, keyboard tracks are now in a folder, and the options the option that we chose before, which was uh, high data when expanded, is applied universally. So across everything. So let's set our folder tracks to zoom two rows. So now we can see everything that's inside our folders. Um, there we go. Great. Uh, maybe I need a little bit more. I say let's say let's say zoom four, and that way I can see everything that's in there. So now we can see all of our tracks. Very very handy. Now, another when you have tracks in a folder track, <clears throat> if you go to your uh, track window here 
on the left. As you click on each uh, folder, you can still see a list of all the tracks that are in there here. So if I go to my drum track or my vocal track, I can still select the track within the folder without actually going there. So if I wanted to make a quick change to something, turn on my uh, read automation or just make any kind of change, it's actually really easy for me to do that from in here. Yeah, of course I can open up my tracks and, and I can do it here too. But it's just, a, if I just want to make a quick tweak and I don't want to go open the folder, select the track, you know, then I don't have to. I can just select the folder and make the change here. So that's pretty handy. Um, another thing that putting items in folders does is it, if you turn on your zone window um, uh, in your, um, well, for, well, first of all, let's talk about visibility over here. You can now change the visibility, not just for tracks. It was before you could say, okay, I don't want to see these tracks. They're in the way. Now I can turn on and off. And like right now, I, I expanded the folder. and I could say, yeah, I don't want to see the kick track, and I don't want to see the other kick track, right? Now I can declutter my interface. Notice I'm opening and closing the folders from this visibility window too. I can declutter my interface by saying, yeah, I don't want to just hide these folders for a minute. Yes, I'm not working on those. I'm just working right here. Okay. This also allows you to quickly select any track that you're working on, right, from in here. Uh, and not only does it work for this record window, let me turn my folders back on for a moment, but if I bring in my mixer window and turn on that same zone view, uh, you can now see, I'm just going to grab this and stretch it out, possibly, the, that little uh, shortcut is handy, but it's getting in my way right now. There we go. Now this is interesting too, because look, those same folders are represented in the zones window of the mixer. So clicking my drum zone opens up the folder and lets me select the kick and notice that my mixer went to that. So if I come down all the way down to my vocal track and pick my last vocal, it's going to scroll my mixer and select that channel. Now to me, that is really super handy because it allows me to say, for example, select, sh click, shift click all my drum tracks. And then if I want to uh, make uh, global changes, I can alt shift. Well, like if I wanted to send these to a different bus, I could alt shift and send them to say the pre-master bus. I don't know, there we go. And then they're all changed. Or I can alt shift and send them back to the drum bus. But the point is I selected them quickly here and made a global change. Uh, I can also go to my visibility window just as before and I can say yeah I don't want to see in the mixer I don't need to see my drum tracks or my bass tracks or my guitar tracks I'm really just working on um, this was actually, uh, this, this folder is my keyboard tracks. It didn't, wouldn't rename for some reason. But I can say I'm just working on my keyboard tracks right now, and I just don't want to see anything else in the mixer. Okay, so there's a really fast way to uh, select, to show, to hide. Okay, so folder tracks have one other thing that they're really good at. And... Let's open my drum tracks here. There they are. And again, if I didn't want to see everything else in my window here, I'll just turn it off. And I'm just working with my... I don't, I don't even want to see the arranger track there. There we go. I'm just working with my drum tracks. Now, I... Well, actually, I do want to see my arranger track. That's useful. I could say that I want to chop up my drums into sections. I've already got my song broken up here. If I wanted to say, um, I know there's typos in this. 
That's not really how you spell chorus. I know. So let's suppose I wanted to take my verse and, and slice this uh, section. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose it and I'm going to zoom into this section here just to, um, oh, wrong one. Okay, zoom to locators. Okay, so I've zoomed into my verse. And I might want to um, slice my drums right at that point, right? So I get my slicing tool, my cutting tool, and I could uh, click, and I've done my uh, kick drum. And you can see that here I can select, and here I can select. And nothing else was affected. You see, it's all one track. This has been split into two, okay? However, folder tracks allow you, uh, let's go to the inspector, a folder track has, first of all, a group mute, which is fantastic, very fast. When I'm working and I'm composing, I want to just take out, I don't need to go to the mixer and, and mute a bunch of tracks. I can group mute. I can group solo. I can group record arm, or not in this case. Uh, I'm not sure why. And I can also group lock. Everything is locked in there. And finally, I can hit this equals, which is group editing. Okay, and uh, that's just because this was live and the way I imported it, but that's fine. We'll just, we'll leave it on for this example. I'm going to go back to my uh, cutting tool here, and when I slice this here and slice this here, what we'll see is... <laughs> Okay, didn't like the fact that they weren't in sync, and I don't fully understand why, because they were all imported together. But the point behind this exercise should have been that when group editing is turned on, all of these tracks would have sliced. Uh, it did not like it, though, so group editing could fail and did fail. So I guess that warning was completely valid. Uh, However, that is another advantage of group tracks, even though it didn't work in this example. What fun for me. Um, let's see. I could try uh, maybe editing the keyboards together. Probably this will yield the same result. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to try it. I can fail twice in one video. Notice I'm cutting here at my verse. Okay. Let's go inside here and see if they were sliced. They were. Okay. So you can see that, um, well, let's turn this equals off here. Now you can see that every single track was sliced at the exact same point at the folder level. So it does work. I've been redeemed, um, and it's very handy for slicing quickly multiple tracks at the same exact spot, especially if you're doing comp work, although there's another way to do that with lanes uh, and the comping tool, but still, uh, it's pretty handy. Just another way to not only organize your project, but also to improve your workflow. Um, it still won't let me rename that. <laughs> uh, it's fine. So uh, I turn these back on again, so we can see all of my tracks, all of my folders. And there you go. It's really fast, um, a really fast way to, uh, to just speed up your workflow. And the fact that folders are represented in the mixer too is just fantastic. Because again, if I don't want to see all my guitar tracks or I don't want to see all my keyboard tracks, it's very easy for me to turn them off. There. Um, right now I'm just looking at my effects tracks and my, um, my group tracks. So it's, for me it's very fast, uh, very handy. Um, because I work in multiple windows, uh, it just really lets me move quickly uh, between tracks in a large session. And um, okay, I think I've beat this one into the ground. Hope it was useful. As always, if it was useful, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe. And if you're going to comment, yeah, I know I rambled on this one. 
But sometimes that happens. See you next time.